Welcome back to Voice of the Week. And without further ado, I would like to invite Phoebe to give our contestant their topic. Hello. Hi. What's your name today? Hello. I'm Viet Hoang, and I'm 16 years old. Hello, 16-year-old Viet Hoang. Uh, we're going to give you a question today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so um, I think one part of the questions you're going to be very familiar with, and then the other part of the question, uh, you might have to brainstorm a little bit. But here's the question, Viet Hoang. Would you rather study abroad or to do internships abroad? Feel free to take your time, and uh, we're looking forward to your reply. And your time starts now. I believe both of those are fantastic options for young adults these days. But that said, personally, I'll choose to go study abroad for my undergraduate studies. The first reason for this is that the work environment overseas will better prepare me for the job market there and for applying for internships during my course. This is because I'll get to learn all my materials in the country's native language and I can acquire valuable vocational skills through their interactive learning and team projects. At the moment, those things are uncommon here in Vietnam because schools here are strictly theory-based. And if I get my degree here and go work abroad, I have to relearn everything in a totally new language. Not to mention, I'll face difficulty getting to the flow of work due to my lack of skills. Furthermore, when I study abroad, I'll have more free time to go out and about, meet people from all corners of the world, learn about their languages, their cultures, and overall get to know them on a personal level and form long-lasting friendships. Which would not be possible if I jump straight into the work environment where people are more mature, more money-oriented, so I'll have trouble making friends and my life far away from home will be kind of lonely. And that is Vi Kuang's participation for Voice of the Week. And that has been a very interesting talk on two fronts. I saw that he addressed some of our uh, preconceptions that we discussed earlier on in the episode. And also, the second side of the situation is I'm personally very excited for this Voice of the Week because Phoebe is going to pose as our expert for this episode. It feels very strange to sit where Phoebe sat and for Phoebe to sit as an expert, but I fully believe in uh, Phoebe's expertise. So please give us our, your feedback on both form and content of that talk. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Tao uh, I'm very happy to, feed, uh, to give some feedback. So Viet Hoang, you, know, you, you were really eloquent. I think you delivered that really well. Um, I think, you know, if you were to, to stand in an audience, in front of an audience to make a speech, you know, that would be a speech that's definitely very well received. Uh, so one, wonderful work on that. Now, with regards to content, I think with content, you've, you've done your, your homework, right? You've, 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 you know, given us A, B, C, D, E. These are the points as to why you believe that is the situation. So definitely great work on that. Now, where I would probably add value to you is if you were to put that performance in a context of an international context, where maybe you have to compete with other international students for scholarships, or you're competing for a very competitive place, right, at a, at a wonderful university or at a wonderful job opportunity, then you might want to take it a little bit further. And how would you do that? By Instead of just going through A, B, C, D, E, now that's the standard, right? Everybody has to be able to master that. Now, how do you go further? You go further by adding a few elements that's very much your own or observations that other people don't often see or view, right, of, of a similar thing. So, for example, you know, one way that you can add value to that is, you know, for for your personal experience, to talk about your personal experience, right? Maybe you were you live in Hanoi, and and you know, uh, maybe in your community, a lot of people studied abroad, and you you uh, they inspire you. So so that's one element of kind of bringing something that's really interesting and allowing the reader or the listener to kind of like, oh, you know, this is what Viet Huang goes through. Right, um, and then alternatively, if uh, maybe he's not from there, but like some people are maybe from the northern area of Vietnam, where you know you'd see a lot of young people to go abroad, go, to go abroad in Sukhoi Lao Dong, or you know mm -hmm. to to work abroad, right? Yeah. And and you know they're able to support their family. So so tell a story of that, um, or you know tell a story of how that might be a tragedy for some people. So really. 
I, I call it peppering, and, and, and you know that's the term yeah. that we use, Pe just to pepper uh, your, your account with personal experiences, experiences you've observed personally, mm -hmm. and also just to kind of put a new twist to regular observations. A table can be a table, but it can also be a circle on top of a trapezoid, right? So like all of these things just make it more interesting. That's how you elevate it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Miss Phoebe as our expert. Thank you so much for your feedback and thank you so much, Vic Huang, for your participation. Yet again, another great IFO Voice of the Week. Stay tuned for the entire season because after the season close, we will get to know who is the Voice of the Year and they will get to go on a trip to the UK valued at 100 million VND, sponsored by British University Vietnam. That is all very exciting. I am very excited and so should you. So thank you very much for tuning in for Voice of the Week.